Okay guys, here is one you probably are going to write me a big fat thank you for. And I actually take this recipe from Remington James. I tweaked it a little bit, but it's his recipe, so I always try to give credit when credit's due. Remington James is a great um, cook on YouTube if you get a chance to watch him. But we are going to make Oreo cheesecake protein bites. Um, I had posted this on my story last night, and I'm sure some of you are interested. So what you're going to need is fat-free cream cheese. I got that from Walmart. Uh, Promix, I use the casein grass-fed protein. This is good stuff you can get on Amazon. I always do Faya yogurt. <clears throat> always do zero fat. It's gonna save you about uh, 50 calories per container. Um, pure uh, stevia sweetener. And then our secret ingredient, instead of doing Oreos, we're just gonna add a lot of um, sugar. We're gonna do Oreo um, cereal and we're going to take uh, one cup and we're going to start off by crushing this down so that's stage one of this recipe the first step helps if I have it the right way first step guys is I'm going to took a hundred and fifty grams of this uh, cream cheese and as you can see when you do fat free look at the size of you can do two tablespoons for 30 calories this stuff is awesome um, I did one of these little um, containers of Faya yogurt, which ends up being 170 grams if you do it out of the big container. And then I took my stevia here and I did 20, let's see here, where is it? Yeah, I did two tablespoons, there's two, so I actually did 20 grams of this, which is a lot, but you want it to definitely be sweet. And you add it into this bowl first, and we're going to mix it together. Oh, and I added one scoop of my protein powder. Sorry about that. So one scoop of protein powder. We're going to mix this up now. Okay, I said one container of the fire yogurt. It actually, my ratios were a little off because I'm trying to do a personal serving. And so I ended up having to use about a container and a half of the Greek yogurt. Okay, so I think that was 170, so we'll say 210 grams of Greek yogurt. When you are done... It is going to look like that, basically like mousse. So now we're going to take our crushed up Oreos here, and I, uh, Oreo cereal, I crushed this up, and we're going to add it to that mixture there, okay? So now what we're going to do is just mix this all together, and I can't do this with one hand, so um, as you can see, it's gonna look like that. I will show you the final product. When we're done with this, we're gonna put it in the freezer for about five minutes before we make the balls. Okay, it's been 10 minutes in the fridge. Um, are you ready for this? Mind blown here, you're gonna be mind blown. Look at this bad boy. It's like cookie dough on steroids slash cheesecake on steroids. So what you're gonna do is you can just use your bare hands, like an animal like I am. And we're just going to put the cheesecake bite on the counter like so. And as you can see, this whole recipe has, I believe it's 550 calories, I'll post it. So I figured six of these will be 70 calories. 70 calories, eight grams of carbs, and you get to eat that. This recipe, I'm telling you, is my favorite by far. So you gotta try this one, I'll post it, and you guys have a great day. I had to come back and just show you what they look like when they're done. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Which actually I think, believe it or not, is 70 calories, it might even be slightly less, because I still got some in the bowl. So I'm telling you guys, just look at these bad boys. And, we, and they literally taste as good as they look. See with it? You could, the kids would love this if you're doing it for the kids, of course. You could get an Oreo Thin and put an Oreo Thin on top like that, which is kind of cool. So this is my recipe. Uh, Oreo Thins, by the way, have 35 calories per Oreo. So not a bad option if you ever want something a little sweet. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'm pretty sure this is my favorite. I like the French toast, but I'm pretty sure this is my favorite. I think it's gonna be your favorite too. And the cool thing is, is like kids, Family, I mean, who's not gonna like this recipe because it does not taste like diet food, trust me, it is good.